The brand new SpaceX Starlink router generation four is right around the corner and it's gonna be a gigabit faster. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we're coming to the end of a little bit of misty morning and focus combination, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking space, SpaceX, maybe some Linux here and there. So today is going to be a SpaceX day. We're gonna be talking about Starlink and a brand new router that's right around the corner. Imminent, as they say. I was reading an article over on PC Magazine and a few other places, and they gave a pretty good synopsis of what's up, and I dug in a little bit deeper, as I always do, and did some math, as uh, I know you can appreciate, because you don't want to do it, <laughs> to give you an idea of what exactly this all means for us. SpaceX Starlink users. So I'm gonna get into this article first and then of course I'll give you my commentary. I wanna hear from you. Is this something that you are looking for? Do you want this? Is this something that you will say, okay, I'm gonna spend that extra money and grab? Because remember, we've seen the generation three drop about 40%. So it's a big drop. That means that they're getting rid of stock in the Gen 4, as I call it. It's actually called a UTR 251 <laughs> currently with the FCC, but it is a Generation 4, no matter how you look at it. And we're gonna get into that today. If you enjoy this content, even the least, throw the video a thumbs up. That will be very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. If you are, I appreciate that. Click the notification button over here so I go live when a new video comes out. You will be notified of it immediately. And if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little button down here. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you want. If not, it's perfectly fine. You don't have to. The video is still free. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more SpaceX Starlink specific content, I have over 465 videos just for you. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and of course the why behind everything because this channel has always been and always will be about what? The why. So let's get into this article. Then of course I'll give you my commentary and then down below I wanna hear from you. And if you're shy, throw an emoji down there. That would help out a lot. I would appreciate that. SpaceX is gearing up to release a new Wi-Fi router for the SpaceX Starlink satellite internet service as revealed in the recent FCC filing. The router dubbed the UTR-251 is part of the company's ongoing efforts to enhance its broadband offerings, potentially aligning with up and coming dish models. This development comes as SpaceX continues to expand its SpaceX Starlink network, which already serves over 5 million users across 125 countries. The UTR-251 appears to be a successor to the current Generation 3 router with notable design changes. According to a post on X, the new router features a single Ethernet port down from two ports on the Generation 3 model and is labeled for indoor use only. That's very important information right there. It's also being manufactured in Vietnam, a country where SpaceX Starlink service status remains uncertain. The router requires a 9-volt DC input at 1.6 amps, which is about 14.4 watts. A shift from the Generation 3 that was 54-volt DC setup, suggesting a more power-efficient design with an integrated power supply. There has been much speculation around the UTR's 251's purpose. Some suggest the router might be paired with a new, smaller SpaceX Starlink mini dish, given its low power requirements. However, the router could also support a refreshed, flat high speed or high performance dish aimed at enterprise buyers, which SpaceX is reportedly preparing alongside at least three new dish models, including one designed for gigabit speeds. That's also important. The high performance dish refresh aligns with SpaceX recent inventory clear out as the existing model was discounted from $2,500 down to $1,500. That's a $1,000 savings, amazing. SpaceX's broader plan includes a follow-up of the SpaceX Starlink Mini and a more powerful dish targeted at gigabit speeds as shared in a presentation to resellers. These upgrades 
upgrades aim to keep SpaceX Starlink competitive as the company faces growing demand and capacity challenges in certain regions. While the UTR-251's exact role remains unclear, its development signals SpaceX's commitment to evolving its hardware to meet diverse user needs from residential to enterprise applications. Enterprise applications, that might be that gigabit speed that we're looking at. So I was alluding to a gig faster. Now we're not talking about download faster or upload faster, we're talking about Wi-Fi speeds. And the reason being is this dish now is going to have a 5.9 gigahertz band. So unlike the generation three dish that only had a 2.4 and a 5.0 gigahertz band, now it has that third band, which is a 5.9. That is a UNNI-4 band. What's nice about this is that band most likely will be able to backhaul the mesh network faster, higher speeds basically, and also do a better job in crowded Wi-Fi situations where you have a lot of nodes or a lot of people or a lot of devices, a lot of traffic on the mesh network. So this is a big, big thing. And what's really nice about this is not only are we getting that 9.5 gigahertz instead of just the 2.4 and 5, but it's also going to increase the speeds. So I wrote this down so you get an idea. The generation three provided about 2.4 gigabit speeds, that's Wi-Fi speeds, maximum. Whereas the new model is going to provide up to 3.6 gigabit in speed. So the real world would be 1.2 gigabit speed or 1200 megabits, which is nothing to sneeze at. That is a good amount of additional speed. Real world will be a little bit less than that obviously, but still that is fast. Also, this unit is only going to use 13 watts of power in comparison to the generation three router that used about 15 to 20 watts. So that is a substantial reduction in the amount of watts. Now. The only thing that I guess the caveat I should say here is the dish is still going to need that 54 watts, right? I, I believe. Now how they're gonna get there, I don't know. But what I do know is this will no longer use a brick to power the router. So where the generation three had a power brick that was plugged into the wall, this will have a power brick, but the actual conversion or the volts, let's say, will be done internally to the router itself. So it's going to use nine volt DC, which is kind of cool. I like that because it's really close to a, let's say a solar generator or something that's providing 12 volts. So instead of having a step up, transformer, let's say, that's gonna bring your 12 volts to 54 volts coming out of your generator, you would only need a brick that would do a step down conversion from the 12 volt down to nine volt. So it's a little bit easier, let's just say. And I do like that it's using less watts. Less watts is a good thing. Even if you're gonna use it inside your home, if let's say you have to go onto a battery backup situation because all lights go out, because there's a power outage because of a hurricane, let's say, every single watt counts, all right? So less watts is a good thing. And you're getting greater speeds and an entire additional band, rear 5.9 band, and guess what? It's gonna need less power. That is awesome, absolutely awesome. The other thing here is that the compatibility with a solar generator is not going to be the same as a Mini. That's why this is not a replacement to the SpaceX Starlink Mini. This is labeled as indoor and rightfully so because it doesn't have what the Mini has, which is that USB-C PD connector that you can actually power it through USB-C or through a barrel connector directly from your battery backup or from your Jackery or your EcoFlow or whatever solar generator you might have. You are still going to have to power it through that converter or through that box that goes into the wall. So all in all, when we look at this, it's very apparent that this is an upgrade to the generation three. This will be a generation four router. The thing is, is it's unclear what it's going to be used for. I personally think they'll probably use it for both corporate as well as residential. And the reason being, it has the faster internal speeds with that third band, the 5.9 gigahertz band, which is very important. Also, it's going to be an AX router. It is not an AC router, meaning that it's a Wi-Fi 6 instead of a Wi-Fi 5. That's gonna give you added security. It's going to give you a better 
better, let's say, experience once again when the network is loaded, when there's a lot of people or a lot of devices on your internal network. It's also gonna give you faster speeds when you're trying to move files from place to place internal to your network. It also is going to be able to give you 4K or 8K watching capability without a problem because you're gonna be able to pump that signal at a faster speed and you're not going to have to use a Cat5, Cat6, Cat7, Cat8 cable, a direct connect if you do not want to. You'll be able to do it with Wi-Fi only and it will be fast enough to handle that. So that's a really, really big thing. I personally would suggest anything that you do is always hardwired whenever possible. But when you have to use Wi-Fi in this situation, this is much better leaps and bounds better. Once again, it's an AX router, it's using Wi-Fi 6, it's using less power, it's about 1200 megabit faster. It is a big, big difference. And this is going to be released very, very soon. I would say within a week or two. Once you see these FCC filings, it is in the pipe, it's ready to go. They've already made probably 100,000, 200,000 of these things, and they're just sitting there ready to ship. So anyways, guys, what say you? Do you like it? Is this something for you? Is this something that you need? Is it something that you want? Will you pick one up? I might actually pick one of these up. This is pretty interesting because I like having that faster Wi-Fi in the office here if I need it. Even though everything is connected through hardwire, I still have the phone, I still have laptop, I still have my iPad and whatnot. That's nice to be able to have faster speeds instead of the slower speeds that we get using the older router. Anyways, down below, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all this? Is it kinda cool? Will you buy one? If you enjoy the content, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all of my merch, my tees, my shirts, my books, and everything else. See if there's something there that you like, and if there is, please pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, maybe with the new Gen 4 router. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Oh.